this is going to be the YouTube root guide for the Spirit 4G. Um, there's already two videos up, but they're not as extensive as they need to be, and I've been requested to make a video. So I'm going to go ahead and create one now. The very first thing that you're going to see is the drivers that you need to download on your PC. You might already have LG drivers, you might have already had an LG phone, but go ahead and download them at the LG support site. If you view this on full screen, you'll be able to see the exact link, but I'm also going to post it in the description. The next two screenshots you're going to see are for the download link, but go ahead and find the one in the description because it's going to be a direct download link instead of navigating. You're going to go ahead and save file. Once it saves, you're going to right click and you're going to extract it. I recommend extracting it to a new folder that you put on your desktop so it's easily found. Once you go ahead and have it downloaded, you're going to open the folder that you created on the desktop and navigate to the one that says run. You can either double click it or right click and click run as administrator. Both are going to do the same thing for you. After clicking the run, this is what it's going to look like. And you're going to go ahead and leave this where it is for now. And we're going to go ahead and worry about the phone settings. And just so you know, your phone is not plugged in yet. The things you do with your phone, I'm going to go ahead and skim through these a little bit because it's your phone and you can spend as much time as you want looking through them. Um, the main thing is, is in settings, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to developer options and click USB debugging. I have a screenshot showing USB debugging with the blue check. You need that. You're going to go back and go to the PC connection. The very first one says USB connection type, and you're going to go ahead and open that up. After opening that up, you're going to select charge only. I believe when it's before you change it, it's on MediaSync, but I've already changed mine to charge only in the screenshot. But either way, just make sure that blue ball is filled up and you'll be good to go. Right now, we're going to go ahead and listen to all the on screen instructions. Before continuing, ensure USB, blah, blah, blah. It's telling you to do everything that I just told you to do. If you don't believe me, read it when you open it. Um, it says press enter to root your phone. Press any key to continue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug in the phone. Now that I have everything done that I've already said so in the video, and we want to press enter because we want to root the phone. Waiting for device. Waiting for phone to reboot. And it's gonna go through a whole entire list of instructions. But it's telling itself what to do. There's nothing else that we have to do. Our phone is going to go through this list of things, go on and off a couple times. If you're on Windows 8, it's gonna make your computer's gonna make a whole bunch of noise. Uh, if I could reach right now, I'd go ahead and turn my volume off. And at the end of this, we're gonna go ahead and be rooted, and that's it. Yeah, remount seceded. Cleaning up and rebooting. And it's a good thing to read as you're it's a good thing to read as you're going through. You'll be able to tell if it's gonna work this time or not. Um, I've never had to redo this. Um, this is the second time I'm rooting the phone um, but there has been people saying on Android forums that they've taken three or four times for this way to work exploit complete press any key to exit press any key to continue so we're gonna go ahead and hit a button and it closes that down and the phone is rooted and we are good to go